Inazuma's cooking. I'm not used to it at all. The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. Inazuma's cooking. I'm not used to it at all. Inazuma's cooking. I'm not used to it at all. All the world holds dear is but a... Backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. I'm not used to it at all. Not bad at all. Welcome home, Almighty Shogun. Make sure you get in line early to buy your special edition drinks. What a coincidence. I was wondering where I might be able to find you, and... <laughs> well, can't I come and see you when nothing is up? All right. As much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time, I'm here mainly for Klee. Before bringing Klee here, I told her many stories about Inazuma. It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. However, I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time besides painting the portraits of the Five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. I can't just let Klee wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. So I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. She hasn't complained, but I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Fortunately, I now have you and Paimon. So, uh... Yay! Miss Honorary Knight's here! What you talking about, Miss Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? Yeah! Um, but Albedo is really busy. I can't go too far away or he'll be worried about me. Aw, Cree, you're such a thoughtful kid. Ah! Paimon's very thoughtful, thank you very much! Paimon always thinks of you whenever she's eating a delicious slime. Anyway, it is pretty cruel not to let Klee go out when she was so excited to come here. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring Klee on a tour of Inazuma. Klee, 
Do you want to go play with Miss Honorary Knight? Yay! You bet I do! As you know, Klee is our Spark Knight. You must keep her safe and sound. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh... <clears throat> try to keep her out of trouble. For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose one of its... Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. Great. I look forward to it. There are loads of cool things to do in Inazuma. Try the local cuisine, visit a shrine. What do you want to do, Klee? Cuisine? What's that? You know, food and drink! Hyman just meant we could take you to a local restaurant! A restaurant? Yay! Snack time! Got it! Alright, snack time it is! Let's go! Special yakitori for sale. Come and try some. Wow, something smells so good. I think it's coming from this steaming thingy. Miss Honorary Knight, look at this noodley soup. It's so pretty. There's so many nice things inside. It's not noodley soup. It's tonkotsu ramen, actually. Oh, so, um, what are those yellow and red thingies on that plate? You're kidding, right? Those are tri-flavored skewers. Mmm, and what about this little yellow cake? That's an egg roll. They're amazing. Have you really not tried one before? Wow, tonkotsu ramen, tri-flavored skewers, and egg rolls. <laughs> they all sound delicious. <laughs> they sure are. Guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. Really? But Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. Also, that's your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. Oh, I remember you. You're Yoimiya's friend. How come you know how to make egg rolls? Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this gal. Why don't you make some for Kree and Iwo? on those egg rolls. Special yakitori for sale. Come and try some.
Santa call? Miss Honorary Knight, what do egg rolls taste like? Think Yoimiya's are better. Hmm? Who is Yoimiya? She makes egg rolls too? Yoimiya can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy too. Yoimiya's pretty much the best and most awesome person ever. For me, the best, most awesome person in the world is my mom. And Klee knows loads of other great people, too. Like Mr. Albedo, Miss Honorary Knight, Master Jean, Kaya. Uh, uh, surely she's not going to name everyone she knows. Oh, well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. In most festivals, Yoimiya's so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time, so she can play with us. She seems like she hasn't been in a great mood recently. But maybe seeing you will cheer her up. Okay, let's go play with Yoimiya. Special yakitori for sale. Come and try some. Sad? Um... I... Oh, I know! Let me tell you something that'll cheer you up! Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head! Wow, Matsuzaka. Nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. Don't worry, Yoimiya. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival, but there are still lots of other fun things to do! I know. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. I'm not that upset, really. Yoimiya! It's me! I want to introduce you to a new friend! An Outlander girl! I just met her! Wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Klee! My name is Klee! Nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yoimiya, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. Um, <laughs> hello. I love the cute outfit, with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique! And your backpack, wow, it's really well made. That's a four-leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck. 
Really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those. Also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute, too. <laughs> That's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go fish blasting together in Starfell Lake. Oh, Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. Yep. My mom says that when a Dodoko is born, it rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. <laughs> Ride the wind and go off on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. Yep, my mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And Yoimiya, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person too. <laughs> Thanks, Klee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends, I'm sure of it. Uh, it's so heartwarming watching these two chat away. Hey, Klee! Since you like four-leaf clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four-leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? <gasps> yeah! And after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Dodoko! Uh, hold on a second. Fish blasting? <laughs> no way. Albedo was pretty clear about that. Oh, oops. I got so excited that I completely forgot about that. The folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. What? It's not allowed? But... Aww. <sighs> okay, then. Hey, come on! You just need a new friend! This is a happy occasion! Why are you suddenly so upset? Yeah! We still have loads of things we can do! Right! Just like Saika said, there are lots of fun things to do! What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast! <laughs> okay then, let's go! Dodoko? Dodoko, where are you? La la la! Oh, come on, don't be upset. Here we are, the venue of the Iridori Festival! Look at all these stuff. Brigade. When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai? Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. Hmm. By Kawabunga Iki. Yomiya, this is a really strange name. Who's this Kawabunga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. <laughs> that would be me. Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine, and When the Wind of Death Blew Towards the Blonde Samurai is the first volume. Mm, Outlander's Brigade? Um, is it a story about the best of friends? Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. Absolutely not! 
I would never allow such clichés in one of my novels. This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very, uh, suitable story for Klee. Um, we might keep looking around. Hey, miss! Don't go! Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off! Have you read this book before, Klee? <laughs> nope, but I know Fischl's story. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Everyone in the Adventurers Guild knows. It's just like how me and Dodoko are always together. Hmm, I wonder if Dodoko is getting bored now. Oh, Klee, I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and Yoimi up! Mm. There must be plenty of things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Yeah, like, um... I... Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You could show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mm, Mr. Albedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. That's very imaginative! I think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. <gasps> Yay! Great! Dodoko will be so happy! Perfect! Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go! Let's go! when they're motivated. We better catch up. Klee was a brave girl today. I found a really weird looking lizard. Want me to show it to you? I just had a discussion, and we've decided... We're gonna keep the content of this 
story a secret from you guys for now. Obviously, I can't tell you why, or <coughs> you'll see. Don't worry. You can keep exploring the festival while we're busy in the shop. We'll be here when you get back. Come on, Yoimiya, we should get going. Let's go inside and start painting. an idea. Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a sneaky peek. So, what does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? goes to eat tri-flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Hmm, although it'll cost a lot more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, you and Mia. I have some mora. Look! Uh, 50 mora is probably not quite enough. Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the traveler for ideas. Miss Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to trouble her. So, I think I should just go fish blasting to earn some mora. Mm, no fish blasting. Paimon and the Traveler said so. Oh, then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. Who's Mr. Albedo? He's my older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do anything. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Dodoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time, to do paintings for everyone. Oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the Eye Publishing House. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, teaching sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. Yoimiya, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Todoko's color like this. Wow! I can see the resemblance. All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay, let's write this. Oh, mm-hmm. Shoot! I didn't hear the last part. Dodoko sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodoko. They couldn't be happier. Now, we have to get Dodoko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the Eye Publishing House. Bombs, so heavy. Ha, ah. It truly is a pity, Mr. Charles. 
Dalton wasn't able to get a manuscript handed in in time for the festival. How about I just do a short story in a parallel universe? Just here we are. This is the Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House. Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani. I know Auntie Aratani. Auntie? Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! Huh? I don't quite understand. We'd better explain this to her. Oh, I see. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but... I'm sorry. The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. We'll think of something. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival, and a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. The printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this, we really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't let that happen. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Clee to feel the same way. If we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. My, my. Yoimiya has quite a determined spirit. I like it very much. It's Miko, and Albedo too! We heard everything. Oh, Lady Yai! It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Let me think... Oh, I know! Yoimiya, little girl, you can print your book, but on one condition, okay? Of course, Lady Guji! Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Klee, 
Lady Gucci is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yup, I am! Thanks, Miss Gucci lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl. Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you, hmm? All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye-bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly! Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Eye Publishing House. Yoimiya, Traveler. Thank you for keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Honorary night, Auntie Aratani brought us Dodoko's story. Now we can finally see what secrets Klee and Yoimiya were keeping from us. Oh, it's really nothing that exciting. It's the story of Dodoko and me. And me. And you guys.
course we included Paimon. This is the story of everyone's big happy adventure with Dodoko. This story is me and your Mia's gift for Miss Honorary Knight. Lady Yai wanted me to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? Oh, are you sure? It's fine by us. But what does the author of the book think? Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <gasps> hey! That's Mommy's book! So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat Travel Guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it. A joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. Uh, Paimon knew it! Miko would never do anything for free! <laughs> a typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Yep! I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book! It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together! Oh, I'm so glad I came! The Iridori Festival is the best! Please be mindful of your personal safety at all times. To request a fan fiction booth, 